So if you guys saw the last video, you know I said you might want to stick around for this video. I told you I had a recipe that was going to blow you away, that this thing was going to be great. And the best part is, I never attempted it till now. But I will promise you this, everything turned out A-OK. -okay. I will tell you this also, this recipe, 10 bucks, feed you and your family, does not take long at all. You have 15 minutes of oven time at the most. You brown up some hamburger. That's the hardest part. What is up? Welcome back to yet another video. Thank you for coming back and thank you for subscribing to my channels for you new ones that just subscribed. Also, don't forget if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that bell icon for all the latest and greatest videos. And don't forget to subscribe down below to my channel. Now, this recipe, this casserole, I'm gonna now tell you what it is called. It is called taco lasagna. So if you guys are ready to get cooking, as always, I am that guy to do it for you. Let's get it. That's right, Halloween's a coming right around the corner. You better go ahead and get those old pumpkins out. Jumping into this video, let me tell you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a pound of hamburger, you're gonna need a pack of flour tortillas, some ricos, gourmet nacho cheese, whatever nacho cheese can you want, go ahead and grab it. Some diced tomatoes, a thing of taco seasoning, some sour cream, and some Colby or Monterey Jack cheese. You're gonna go ahead and set your stove to a medium to high heat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start browning this hamburger. Just like that, it's already nice and brown. Do not forget, use a big enough pan so we can mix all these ingredients together. And be sure you strain your hamburger thoroughly. Return it to the stove. Preheat your oven to 375. Grab your taco mix. Spread it around all over the hamburger meat. Three quarter cup of water. Dump it straight up into the pan. Then you're gonna go ahead and mix this thoroughly. And after you mix it thoroughly, you're gonna set the stove top to about a medium heat. You're gonna let it boil for a few minutes. Let it simmer for a couple minutes and stir it around a couple times. And your hamburger meat will be completed. Grab your other ingredients. We're gonna go ahead and drop one cup of sour cream right into the pan, followed by your diced tomatoes. Pop the whole can, don't forget to strain them. And then your Rico's Gourmet Nacho Cheese. And you guessed it. You're gonna go ahead and mix all these ingredients well throughout the pan and just like that, it's beautiful. You are done. Go ahead and grab you a baking pan now. Make sure you spray it down with some non-stick cooking spray. Your flour tortillas are gonna be the first thing that you drop right into this pan. You're gonna put two on one side and two on the other side. Go ahead and take your hamburger mixture, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna use half of your pan, you're gonna spread it evenly right over top of the flour tortillas. Pull out your bag of shredded cheese, your choice, whatever shredded cheese you wanna do. Spread it evenly throughout the pan. Don't be afraid to get a little heavy handed. Cheese is very good for you. Then the same process you're gonna do all over again. Now that we've completed our casserole, our oven's already 
preheated to 375. You're going to slide it right into the oven. It's going to bake for about 10 to 15 minutes. Pull it out when the cheese is melted on top and the flour tortillas have already have a nice little crispiness to them. Just for a little tip, you want to go ahead and use a metal spatula and you're going to push all the way down so it cuts right through those flour tortillas. And then you're ready to go ahead and dish it up. Did I tell you? Simple, easy, fits the channel perfect. This taco lasagna almost tastes like, I would say like enchilada, like an enchilada casserole or something. Simple, easy, awesome, delicious, cheap, 10 bucks, like I said earlier. Also the hardest part, let's say you had 10 minutes of browning time, five minutes of mixing time, five minutes of layering it in your casserole dish. So we're up to 20 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, you just have to check on the cheese, make sure it's melted in the oven. So what we got, 30 minutes total, feed you and your family. Gosh, what a good dish. I can't wait to come out with the next video, guys. Stick around to see my next video. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Uh, don't forget, check out my playlist down below, guys. We're starting to build up videos. Check them all out. Smash that thumbs up button. Show me some love. Um, with that being said, subscribe down below. I thank you guys for viewing. I will see you guys at the next video. See you.